Today's reading is Biocorn, an entry from the Monster Encyclopedia book series. A variant of the unicorn that has an alluring black coat and two horns. When a unicorn has sex with a non-virgin or her husband cheats on her, that man carries the other woman's magical energy, so she gets infested with the other woman's magical energy along with her husband's spirit energy when he pours it into her. Due to this, the demonic energy of the unicorn, which had been kept pure, becomes mixed with the other woman's magical energy and gets corrupted, changing into the demonic energy of a biocorn, and the unicorn ends up changing into a biocorn. They have the same gentle disposition and graceful behavior as the unicorns, however their true nature is exceedingly, exceedingly lascivious and these monsters are regarded as the symbols of impurity, celebrating a lustful, hedonistic existence. Though wildly lustful, they do not forcibly rape men, but they are adept in the ways of arousing lust in men. Men they go after will be unable to resist their sweet temptation, and will eventually have sex with them when seduced. Eventually. Exactly the opposite of the monogamous unicorn it is in their nature to prefer a polygamous harem arrangement when their husbands, where their husbands have many monsters as wives. As far as they are concerned, their husband becomes a more lustful, hedonistic existence by having sex with many monsters, also letting many women know the taste of their beloved husband in a harem arrangement brings them more joy than anything else. Additionally, their husband's spirit, spirit energy which gets mixed and corrupted with demonic energy of the various monsters, becomes like a cocktail, and it is said to be their favorite treat. Normally, the demonic energy monsters pour into their husbands asserts that they belong to them, they the husband and them the monster girl, and functions to repel other monsters. The Biocorn's demonic energy is different. The scent of the spirit energy of a man infused with it ends up becoming thicker and stronger. Thus, since he becomes extremely attractive and delicious looking to other monsters, it has the exact opposite effect. It attracts other monsters to their husband. Of course, this goes for the woman who caused them to become a biocorn in the first place. But if there are any other women who their husband desires, or any woman who desires their husband, they'll train them into lascivious monsters that are an appropriate partner for them and their husband making them a member of the harem for their husband's sake, of course. Even should their husband be resistant towards the idea of a harem, they'll lure him into it by sprouting the seeds and fanning his desire for other women. Additionally, every time a monster joins the harem, the Biocorn's demonic energy grows relatively thinner. So there is an actual limit of the, on the number of people the harem can have, but it's probably easy to make a small harem of about five or six people.